Today we're going to remake Loser by Charlie Puth. While doing that, I'm going to show you how to use an 808 clap to imitate a crash cymbal, how to create real sounding drums in Logic Pro, and of course, how to make that Daft Punk arpeggiator. And if that wasn't enough, we're going to do it all in one hour. And at the end, you can download the final Logic Pro project and stems for free down below. Stopwatch, three to one, go! Let's create an instrument, change the BPM to 102, and record in A flat minor, D flat minor, E major, and then it's B major, and then drop the bass. Command A to select all the notes, Q to quantize, shift, forward slash, shorten, so all the notes are legato. Also functions, MIDI transform, and fix the velocity. This way all our notes are at the same volume. So we have to duplicate until we have eight notes. All in the arpeggio of A flat minor here. Same with the D flat minor. Let's grab the two middle chords, shift, option, up, to bring them up an octave. The third chord is a little bit tricky. I think there's an F sharp in there with the E major chord. That sounds pretty good. If we go to MIDI FX and select Arpeggiator, this is where the magic happens. So we want to go up and then down, hitting the top note twice, and right, 1 over 16 is perfect. Move that up here. A flat minor. D flat minor. E with a second. B. B flat. I'm pretty happy with that. So let's change the synth to retro synth. Presets. Synth leads. Let's try Digi Cream. Let's bring the filter down, bring down the amp envelope, and shorten its release, then the filter as well. That's a pretty good start. Bring up the rate and the mix in the chorus, more the sine level, bring up the LFO and the filter as well, and let's try a tiny bit of glide. It's getting there. Let's add a shape 1 and 2, small amount of vibrato, shape 2 semitones up 12, and crank up the sense as well, 24. And let's throw in an audio effect, dynamics, distortion, good bit of the drive, bring the tone up, and bring down the output. Nearly there, let's create a bus, 10, reverb, chroma verb, chambers, orchestra chamber. Ten minutes, fifty-two seconds. We're under pressure already, but it's a good start. Great software instrument. This time, let's go for alchemy. Search bass, seventies classic synth bass with no delay or reverb. That's for sure. And our bass goes A flat, D flat, B. That's such a cool bass line. Command A, Q to quantize, and fix its velocity as well. We want to keep our bass frequencies nice and steady. I'm going to shorten the decay about 50% and a tiny bit more drive. And if we click advance in the top left, let's reduce the cutoff on the filter. We do lose a lot of the high frequencies, but we'll sort that in a minute. 16 minutes, 43 seconds. That's more like it. And I love how it sounds. Command D to duplicate that synth. Option, click and drag down the MIDI as well. Press Y to open up the library. Guitar, tweed, pick synth. <laughs> we might need to edit that a little bit. Turn off its pedal board. Open its amp. Let's turn off those effects. Bring up the gain. And I might change the amp as well. Large black panel combo. And click on sculpture to open the synth itself. In the top right, I'm going to change the delay time to 1 over 64. Just so it has a tiny bit of slapback delay. Command A to select all the guitar notes. Shift, option, and bring it down an octave. And change its material up to nylon. Makes it a little bit brighter. That's much better. And throw a tiny bit of that bus reverb on it as well. 21 minutes, 50 seconds. I'm really enjoying this one so far. If we keep like this, we'll have lots of time for the vocals at the end. Great. Audio instrument. Let's stand up for this one. It's great having a table that moves up. Now we need the acoustic guitar and a microphone. And record it in. Hey! So the first time I recorded the first and the third chord, and the second time I recorded the second and the last chord. So now I've comped them together, so you don't hear any of my movement between chords. Let's pan that left, command D, pan this one, right! Comp the chords together, press A, and flatten the comp together. Command D, let's put this one down the center. Ooh, a little bit late, move it into time. Let's fix the third chord. Click on flex pitch, flex, change from slicing to rhythmic so we can click points and move them into time. 
Flex pitch always saves us. Beautiful. Shift click to the top guitar track. Shift command G for a group track. We can gently nudge off a lot of the low frequencies in this. We just want the really percussive high end. And a tiny bit of that bus reverb. Ah, oh, they work so well together. That's a great bit of writing. 27 minutes, 57 seconds. Let's get moving a little bit faster. More guitars. Create a new guitar track. Let's go amazing tweed. First record in the chords. Two finger click on the pan, stereo pan. Let's drag this up into one point so it acts like it's mono. Drag this one to the left to pan it left. Command D the track and pan this one to the right. Let's move the chords into time. Let's pan those a bit more centrally. 30 left and 30 right. Command D for amazing tweed C. Record this down the middle. That goes. Let's open its pedal board. Let's give it a bit of the tube burner. And give it some of the bus reverb. Okay, it doesn't sound too bad. Option C, let's give these some colors. Shift command G for an electric guitar group. 41 minutes, 10 seconds. That took far too long. Okay, we can do this. You just gotta believe. Create a new software instrument. Let's open up Digital Suburban Dext. This is a free synth. Just search its name on the interwebs and you'll find it. Let's go to the preset Sahara. Option, click and drag down the MIDI from the arpeggio synth. Shorten those notes to one beat. Nice. Let's just bring down the cutoff in Dext so it's less shrill. And throw on some of the bus reverb as well. Just a tiny bit. Nice. That sounds great. A really subtle but super important thickening and layering of the chords. Really fills up all that empty space. 44 minutes, 20 seconds. That's a lot more like it. That might just have saved us all the time for the vocals. Thank you, Dex. Great. Another software instrument. Why to open up the library. Drum kit. Producer kits. Sunset. One of my go-tos. And our kick and snare go like kick, kick and snare, kick, kick and snare, kick, kick and snare, kick, kick and snare. Beautiful. And let's record in our hi-hats. Very messy. Cue to quantize those, but let's bring the strength down a good bit if we can to make them sound a little bit human. And the velocity of the first beat can be a little bit louder. So it's real ba ba da ba da ba da ba. Let's actually make the snare on the D. It's a bit lower tone snare. And option click up to the claps. Make them hit a bit late. Bring their velocities down. And option click drag down to the rim shot as well. Command or to duplicate that across. Option C, color those yellow. 48 minutes, 44 seconds. This one's gonna go right down to the wire. Great. Software instrument. Open up Ultra Beat. Presets. Drum kits. We need our 808. Record in a clap. Stretch out the MIDI region. Throw some chroma verb onto the track. Chambers. Orchestra chamber again. Full wet. Let's make the decay a bit longer. Sounds amazing. Control B to bounce it in place. Let's go region more reverse. So we have a reverse clap. <laughs> Amazing. I'm going to bounce out the MIDI one more time so we can have them on separate tracks. And maybe put some chroma verb on the downbeat transient and mix in the dry and the wet. Such a super replacement for a crash cymbal. Shift command G for an impact group. 50 minutes, 30 seconds. The countdown really is on there. Vocals, finally. Create audio instrument. Get our microphone. This one goes like... Nice. EQ out some of the low end. Give it lots of that bus reverb. An option, click and drag across that reverb onto the track as well. And let's mix it in. And let's fade in that audio to make it an even more gradual rise. Nice. Command D, Fox RB. <laughs> I tried to do the swell up myself this time. The voice is an amazing instrument and Charlie knows we need to use it. Vocal samples are my favorite. They always sound so good. 53 minutes, six seconds. No time to lose. Great. Audio track, Fox double A. And select everything and option click and drag across. So we have it doubled. Oh, I'm such a loser. How'd I ever lose her? Hoo -hoo. A bit rough, but we can make it work. Fox double B. Oh, maybe I must have been out of my mind. <coughs> 
Ah, oh, Charlie. Why do you keep singing your song so high? Too high. Come on, D for Vox Double C. Oh, maybe I must have been out of my mind. A little bit better that time. I hope. <laughs> Double click. Turn on flex. Flex pitch. Command A to select all the notes. Double click to pitch correct. And I'm going to bring down the vibrato a tiny bit, but it does make it sound a little bit robotic. So tune to taste. And we can quantize the B major as well. 56 minutes, 38 seconds. Okay, last few now. Command D. Harmony. Loser. I messed it up so bad To save time Let's tune that into the right notes Command A Cue to quantize And pitch correct And bring down the vibrato Okay one more Command D Harmony B And Pandy's 20 left And 20 right Oh maybe I must have been out of my mind <laughs> Not perfect But it'll have to do Because that's time <laughs> Hey da -da, da -da, da -da -da. Boom Oh <laughs> The production on this track is great. It's important to get that reminder of the usefulness of acoustic guitars, simple arpeggiators, and of course those beautiful texture vocals. Recording our own real sounds always makes a huge difference. A huge thank you to all my patrons over on Patreon. Really appreciate you guys. Thank you. All right, will we sing the lead vocal live? I have to be rude not to. Here we go. Oh, I'm such a You can learn how to remake Smells Like Me by Charlie Puth right here. It's another deep dive into Charlie's music production style. So I'm sure you might pick up something there as well. Hope you're keeping well. Cheers.